going into town and going into Soho and the really busy places like Oxford Street and stuff like that especially, that's felt really eerie and otherworldly and like you're in a film, it's um, been really strange. It was like that film, that scene from 28 Days Later, the streets were empty, devoid of um, people. And it was deserted, it was really strange. It was like a, a zombie apocalypse in town. I just felt that it would be the only time to see these places like that. So I just, I, that's been my urge to just explore them while I can through this period. In, in a way it was quite beautiful because you know, you've got this, these, these buildings and these streets that are so vibrant and so full of life and now they're kind of empty and you can actually take them in and have a little look at the city in a different way. But yeah, there was something that just didn't feel of this world about it, you know, it was quite eerie. Um, from Switzerland, I'm used to uh, towns being quiet, especially on the weekends, and uh, it feels a lot more like that, like walking around my hometown on a Sunday afternoon rather than uh, one of the world's busiest cities. So, and everybody, I think everybody was quite on edge because it was at the beginning of, of the, the lockdown or, or just before the lockdown and people were, were really, uh, I think, worried and scared and not really apprehensive of everything and everybody as well. Nobody seemed to smile. There was lots of um, people walking down the street or the odd occasional person walking down the street and nobody would smile, nobody would engage. They think they're going to get infected from the smile, which is, is kind of comical. So I've been smiling at people on purpose to, to try and um, entertain myself. <laughs> London on lockdown feels calm in a way, kind of peaceful and slower. Um, it feels kind of scary as well because, I don't know, it's sort of this invisible thing that's out there. I feel in some respects I feel quite blessed to have this time at home because um, you know, ordinarily I, I never get to spend this much time with, with my son. These developments, you know, he, he can, it sounds daft, but he can run now and he can jump and he can climb. He said his first words, and things like that, that, that I would have missed before. And that, that's kind of amazing. So in, in that respect, I, I feel really blessed to have this time with him. Going over the bridges and over the Thames and it just being silent and you just being able to hear really distinctly sounds that would have just been part of the general background before. Like, I stood on the Millennium Bridge and there was not a sound at all. The, the river was silent like a mill pond, you know, it's like a mill pond. I really hope that the sort of the, the value put on essential workers, you know, from street cleaners up through to the obvious NHS workers is is maintained afterwards and and generally people might realise that money can't protect you from everything and we owe more of a social care to people. That's what I'd hope would be the good to come out of this. <laughs>